Hello guys, uh, today our group will present about chapter 29, 30, and 32. And our group members are me, Ha Ling, Ha Ming, Huang Zheng, and Tu Yue. Okay, so let's get started. The 29.1 Introduction to Vectors What is vector? A vector is something that has both magnitude and direction and can be represented by an arrow. Vector can be written down in several ways. A, B, giving the start and end points with an arrow over the top, and A as a lowercase letter printed in bold. When we are writing by hand, you cannot show them in bold type. Instead of that, write them with a line underneath. When vectors are drawn on a coordinate grid, they can be represented by two numbers in brackets in a column. For example, you can see on this grid, from A to B equal 2, 4 means move 2 right and 4 upwards to get to point B from point A. If a line moves either downwards or left, the coordinate is negative. So you can say that BC equal 2 minus 2 means move 2 right and 2 downwards to get to point C from point B. Here is a note. The line joining A and B can be written as AB and BA, and these both have the same magnitude. But the vectors A, B, and B, A are not the same because their direction are different. A, B equal 2, 4, and from B to A equal minus 2, minus 4. And you can see that B, A will be equal minus A, B. Here is an exercise about vector. So write these as column vectors. A, B, T, B, C, B, C, A, A, C, and D, A. Here is the answer for the exercise. A, B equal 4 and minus 1 because to get from A to B, you have to move 4 right and 1 downwards. The same for the other. D, B equal 3, 1. C, B equal 2 and 3. C, A is minus 2 and 4. A, C is 2 and minus 4. And D, A is minus 1 and 2. And so you study about using vectors. So how to do it? As you can see here, it's a grid um, made of many parallelograms, and now we see origin. So the position vector of A here is gonna be away equals to A because um, it only moves on one A. And the position vector of B is of B equals to B. As you can see here, yeah. So how to give um, to the other letters here and just not OB in a way. So for example, the position vector of G is going to be OG. So how to, if, you move, if you move to OG, you, you can see that it will go up. It will go up uh, one paragraph and move to the right one or uh, two paragraphs. So it's gonna it's gonna be one B plus two A. As you can see here, is the answer. And the next one is the position vector of T here. As you can see, if you want to move from O to T, you have to go up three paragraphs and go to the right uh, four paragraphs. So it's gonna be um, two, uh, three V plus four, four I here. Because uh, like we just uh, said in the first slide that OB is B and O is A. So, and you can write the other vectors in terms of A and B, not just the position vector of one um, vector here. So for example, CL, 
uh, CL, as you can see, to move from C to L, you have to go up um, to parallelogram. So it's going to be 2B. The next one is CH. CH is equal to um, CL plus LH. So as you can see here, like we just say, um, CL will, if you want to go from C to L, uh, you will take, you will go up to parallel graphs. And if you want to move from L to H, then you have to minus 1A because you will go back and, or go to the left instead of go, go to the right. And the next one is CP. Um, CP is equal to CL plus LP. And as you can see, CL will, will need to move up to um, paragraphs and move to the right one paragraph. So it's going to equal to 2B plus A. Now we we'll go to some exercises. So on this grid, O is the origin. OA is always A and OB is B. So the first question is named three other vectors equivalent to A. And write this vector in, in terms of A and B. The first one is AG. The second one is the position vector of K. The, sec, uh, the third one is the position vector of E. And the last one is BK. You can pause here if you want to do it by yourself. Now we we'll go to the answer. So you can have, uh, in the first question, you can have any three of AC, CF, uh, BD, DG, GI, EH, HJ, and JK. In the second question, um, the vectors of a case I uh, plus B because you move to the right one and go up one, just one. So it's going to be A plus B. And you will do the same with others. Um, so the, the position vector of K is going to be 3A plus 2B. And the position vector of E is going to be 2B. And the last one, the vectors of BK is going to be 3A plus B. Now we'll go to, 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 the, last, to the last exercise. So the diagram shows the vector of OA and OB. OA is equal to A and OB is equal to B. The point C divides the line AB into ratio 1 divided by 2. So work in the, que in the first question, you have to work out the vector of AB. The second one is work out the vector of I see. The third one is work out the vector of OC. And remember that AC is one third the di distance from A to B. AC is one third from the distance from A to B. Because the point C divides C line AB into the ratio 1 divided by 2. You can stop here if you want to do it by yourself. Now you will go, uh, we will go to the answer. So in the first question, work out the vector of AB. Uh, the answer will be minus A plus B. Um, the second one, work out the vector of AC. It's going to be one third times minus A plus B. And the last question, uh, work out the vector of OC in terms of A and B. So it's going to be two thirds of a plus one third of B. The 29.3, the magnitude of a vector. So, the size or magnitude of a vector is represented by two vertical lines, like this, which stand for magnitude of or length of. For example, vertical line AB, vertical line, or vertical line A in bold letter, and vertical line. If a vector is drawn on a rectangular coordinate grid, you can use Pythagoras' theorem to calculate the magnitude. So, for example, we have vector AB equal 4 over minus 3. 
Sorry for the error, I can't get it up to get above the two A B letter. And sorry for the vector also. So this means it takes to move from A to B, four to the right and down three. Here four to the right and down three. So then it can form the hypotenuse of a triangle with sides of length 3 and 4 as shown on the grid. Here you go. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the two sides. So magnitude of vertical AB is equal to the square root of 4 over 4 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of 2. That means the square root of 25 and that means it is the magnitude of vert vertex a b is no not vertex of vectors a b is equal to 5 so in general if a if vector a is equal to x over y then the magnitude of vector a is equal to square root of x to the power of 2 plus y to the power of 2 if A has a coordinate of 3, minus 2, and B has a coordinate of minus 3 and 5, we need to calculate the magnitude of vector AB. So, we have vector AB is, is equal to minus 6 and 7. That means it needs to move left. That means to get from A to B, it needs to move left 6 and move up 7. So, to find the magnitude of AB, we calculate the square root of x to the power of 2 plus the y to the power of 2. So, in this situation, we have x is minus 6 and y is 7. So, the magnitude of AB is vector AB is going to equal to square root of minus 6 to the power of 2 plus 7 to the power of 2. That means the square root of 36 plus 49, and that means square root of 85, and that equal to 9.22 to two decimal places.